Okay. I should sit down, do some research, get my sources down in the list. Maybe increase the production value, get images or something like, you know, Maybe I should increase the production value of my videos <laughs> instead of just making these things. But I'm too disorganized, lazy, unmotivated, and uh, I just, uh, it's just too hard. <laughs> so I'm just making videos like this. <sighs> Let me just say what I'm thinking. We live in a totalitarian, dystopian nightmare. We live in a totalitarian, dystopian nightmare. Most people, uh, people, the public, the normies are either no, let me explain, are oblivious oblivious to this fact uh, it's like the powers that be the rules based order the and their so called adversaries uh, conducting a hybrid war and uh, that's being kept hidden from the public because if the public finds out that their countries have been attacked that they're uh, you know that China if the public knew what was going on they would scream vengeance we need to go to war we need to attack them so the powers that be knowing the implications of a total outright war on this planet the destruction of everything billions dying possibly nuclear earthquakes directed energy weapons of destruction of food resources, civil unrest, the panic, the 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 economies falling apart, the 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 logistical systems just falling through sheer panic alone, and the disaster that'll cause. They keep it all hidden. They don't want to talk about it. They, if something happens, they, they, they say, oh, it's just a natural earthquake. Oh, it's just a bridge malfunction. Oh, the fire was just all, you know, caused by wind and weather. And, uh, oh, the fire, you know, the, if it's a hacking. Oh, oh, that was just like oh, a glitch in the system. You know, it's a friendly fire accident. No, the, this is what's, this is how, this is why they're always lying to you. The, the, the. If you go to the White House, they'll lie to you and they do it because they don't want you all to know what's going on. Because if you knew what was going on, you will say, we want war, we want war, we want war. And because the uh, no one wants to go to war, the, the uh, leaders, <laughs> those in charge know the implications of that. But... If they don't do anything about it, it becomes politically untenable. So they keep the public in the dark because they don't want to go to total war. They don't want to go to, they don't want to fight each other openly. Another reason why this is, so why are these people fighting each other? Why are they fighting each other? It's like in that 1984, the, 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 the war is eternal. It's like the, the, there is an eternal enemy. The Chinese, the Russians, the Iranians. These, these are enemies 
of the state the, the it's like it's like the, there's no even there's no reason for it you know it's like they are they are the forever enemy they are the enemy for all eternity and we're going to fight them for all eternity that's another symptom of the totalitarianism <laughs> um it also has to do with the fact that America is a very immature country um, because of the of the where it, where it is located far away from Europe. I mean, the Europeans and the Russians they have been fighting each other for centuries and uh, millennia. Okay, so they've they have fought each other to a point where they have an understanding with each other. They have a relationship where they can live with each other without having to destroy the other. For America, because it's isolated and it's you know, separated by the Atlantic, it feels so threatened. Unless America can control and dominate the world, uh, keep everyone down, it's so insecure, it feels so threatened because it doesn't have the historical experience of fighting peers, you know? When you're locked away, if this, you know, away from the ocean, you can bomb people over there, and 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 you you feel like because you don't have any real consequences, you 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 engage in that behavior. But if you're with a peer who's next to you, and they, if you bomb them, they'll bomb you back. You're less likely to be this kind of aggressive. Uh, and you might have some kind of a an understanding, a respect for your for your neighbors. But America, look what happened with 9-11, which I think was all the insider job, but it got attacked and it just went completely nuts. It went completely nuts and tried to destroy the Middle East and, and, and created a lot of chaos, has no understanding of what, what those countries are like. Just go and let's just bomb them into submission because we are so threatened, we're so immature, we don't know how to live with, you know, this is how this is the problem with America and how it is like it's a very immature country. It's only for been here for like a few hundred years, whereas European countries they they have millennia of history. They have been fighting for you in the past, and so they have a relationship. They have an understanding. Uh, so this is something to do with like America has to grow out of this idea of having to dominate the whole planet in order to feel safe. Uh, but, you know, and and the kind of horror we're talking about here, these people, uh, they in order to feel safe, they they have to build weapons, and the weapons ha can be uh, can use. I think some of these involve UFOs, and uh, you know, it has to do with consciousness assisted technology. And and like that uh, uh, whistleblower said, you know, when he saw that, uh, he, he, I suspect, and I'm I have, I'm quite like convinced of this. So I have a very strong suspicion. I have a very strong feeling that these people have been uh, kidnapping pe uh, these national security military industrial complex people. I think even the Chinese might be doing it as well. It's not just Americans, but they they're kidnapping people from the so-called third world countries when there was a disaster they'll go kidnap people because they want people with certain psychological characteristics because you need these characteristics in order to um, control ufos or uh, capture ufos or even this there, there is something to do with consciousness and this mind matter interface that has to do with advanced weaponry and they have been kidnapping people and they have been experimenting human experiments on them mangala we're talking about mangala type stuff and this is another reason they want they, they don't want to talk about it because if they've, they've done all this horrible human experimentation shit on people and they're hiding it okay it's just all in the name of national security because we are at war with china and russia and and uh, we, we have to do this because if we don't do this, the Chinese will do it and they will have stronger weapons. So we have to do this. We have to do this horrible mangle experiments to get the te to advance technology. This is the world we're living in. Okay. 
it makes me so angry. It makes me so angry. I believe they're, you know, in the Hunger Games, they've got this post-apocalyptic, I just saw a trailer, I haven't seen the movie. They have a, I believe there is a civilization in Antarctica. They have got advanced weapons, maybe at least 50 years in, in the front. They're, they're like this elite, you know, the, the, we don't have to have a nuclear apocalypse to, to understand that there is an elite civilization and they have advanced technology, medicine, everything, and they and they and they treat us like we're like uh, the the surface humans, like this. It's like a separate civilization. They are they are, they are a breakaway group, and they're using us as resources. They're experimenting on people to develop weapons and technology so they can benefit, and we're like. You know, Putin said it's a vampire ball. These people are vampires feasting on the planet. Oh, I hate these people. I fucking, I hate them. I hate them. I fucking hate them. Oh, anyway.